What is up guys and girls, I am Virtual Pigs and welcome back to Planet Nomads and welcome to my scrapyard. This is the place where I build, basically. It's creative mode and it's pretty much where I build all of the different things before I build them in survival. But today, um, oh yeah, also ignore the big old hole, I kind of got something a bit stuck. Um, but like I was saying, today... I, one of the things that we need to do for the survival is we need to build a brand new vessel, which we're probably going to scrap down one of the older vessels to make, um, but it's going to be a dual vessel, so it's going to be similar to the old um, dual platforms that I used to use, but also different at the same time. So, that'll be our starting platform. That will be where we um, initially start things. I then want one of every block. You know what? Let's go for some of those as well. And then... Right. We're going to want drills. We're going to want batteries. We're going to want switchboards. And... I think... We're going to go for... Yeah, I think we'll go for the glass cockpit. And we also want solar panels, because I want this thing to be solar powered. Um, I also need air blades. That'll be a thing. Um, terminal. And I guess... Um... Well, I need a large container. Okay, another page. We're also going to want solar beacons. So that I can actually find the damn thing again. Uh, we need all the different types of piping. And I think that about does it. Right. I want to go a bit higher up, though. So, we got our starting pole, but I want to go higher up, because I'm going to build this thing different to how I built any other air vehicle, pretty much. So, we're going to go up nice and high. There we go. That will give us something to attach our first piece to, which will be this. Now, this should already give you an idea of exactly how it is I want to build this thing. Oh god damn, seriously with the rain? I swear, I can't get a break from the rain, doesn't matter what mode I'm in. Right, well, i tell you what, let's, um, let's quickly grab one of these, and we'll just, uh... Oh, okay, you, you know what? You're fine there, just go there for me, and then, um, we'll skip through the rain. Uh, there we go. Rain skipped. Right, lovely. Right, so. Exactly how much power do these drills take up? Right, so they take up 200 apiece. These generate 250 apiece, so one per drill. And then I believe, yeah. So it's one solar panel per drill and two batteries per drill. And that should power it. Oh, a tiny little bit of surplus. So if I stick three batteries per drill, that should give us what we need. But that's not going to do us any good because the first thing I need to do is actually figure out how exactly I want to do the drills. And I'm thinking, 
what I want to do is something a little bit like that. So we'll just um, attach another one there. Now I'm I'm gonna have to bring that out a little bit, aren't I? Yes. Okay. It's fine because what I might be able to get away with doing is actually using that as landing gear. It's gonna be makeshift landing gear. So um that's something we then don't have to worry about. Uh and then no, that's not the rotation I wanted. There we go. And that should give me enough spread between the two. Lovely. Right. Now the question is, is how exactly am I going to balance this thing? Because If you hadn't guessed, it's um, going to be quite a tall aircraft, which is completely different from my normal build style. I am also now noticing that I may have slightly created a bit of a problem for myself. Um, question, if I you a little bit of rotate and just kind of uh, bring you I always hate placing these things they never quite go the way you want them to there we go and then we'll just go down and down again Good, that is planted into the ground, which means I can now get rid of these ones. It's now kind of docked on an arm. Lovely. Exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, right. So. I mean, obviously, we want the cockpit to be kind of low because... Otherwise, I'm going to have a little bit of an issue with getting into it. That's that. Mm. Okay, those aren't quite where I wanted them. So we got what? Yeah, I can probably squeeze. Yeah, I think four batteries per drill should be more than sufficient. And then what I'll do is I'll shove the control panel for the drills there. And we're going to colour all of those in red. That will signify that they are for the drills. Oh, actually, those kind of look quite cool in red. So, uh, let's... Come on. There we go. Just alter the colour of all of this. I quite like the idea of the colour coding system. It really does help. Um, right, now all I have to do... is work out oh jeez okay why are we why are we hard lagging why am I dropping frames you know what, I think it stopped you know it occurs to me that maybe I don't want to use that one maybe that one would be more suited to this Um, yeah, I think that one's going to be more suited towards it. Uh, I need it to be further out, though. 
the reason is is because with this kind of hanging off the front and in fact that cockpit weighs quite a lot it's going to need separate landing gear of its own otherwise it's just going to fall over which will be no good there we go yeah I suppose that kind of works um I suppose I should probably make a nose for this thing as well. So let's give that a little rotate. Um, and then we'll put you in there. We'll um, give you a little bit of a rotate as well. I want it to be kind of quite flat on the bottom anyway, so the fact that it's turning out a little bit flat, not necessarily a problem. That kind of works for what I want. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe separate battery as well. Because I would kind of like to have a little light on the front of this thing as well. Um, if I can find the light that is. Ah, there we go, that's what I want. Right, so... You need to kind of sit like that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's perfect. Works exactly how I want it to work. Um, hmm. Now here comes the interesting bit. How exactly do I want to do... The front landing gear. Probably going to go something similar to what... That's not how I wanted that to go. But like I say, it's probably something similar to how I've had before in the past, where I've had this kind of one little joint, and then... Huh. Why aren't you defending that one. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Not gonna lie, that was kind of weird. Why? Why did that not extend down? Hmm. Huh. Okay. I wonder if maybe if I put it down. Oh, actually, you know what? It's going to have to go quite low anyway. Yeah, it's actually going to have to go very low because these don't have the best um, extension on them. So, maybe something like that. And then we'll put it there. I will then attach the block to the front. There we go. Now, maybe we can even have... Oh, actually, no. That lines up with the battery a little bit too well. Not to mention, it does look kind of weird. So, is there something I can... To maybe remedy that. Surely I'm not going to be able to stick another one in here. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Um, again, not the end of the world. Because those batteries are output 100, and these lights only take up 10, so. 
because I, I want this thing to look okay-ish. So we'll stick a second light down there. There you go. That solves the problem beautifully. Alright, so I can get rid of that lot now. Now I just need to create the actual um, point where contact with the ground is going to be made. I don't want just a flat landing foot this time though. I want something almost claw-like. kind of works I would prefer having that like little pillar up but I need to be able to access that battery so you know what can you do and we do have to kind of give way a certain extent to um, game mechanics we're actually gonna stick lights there You know, I'm going to stick fan blades there as well. That'll be the air blades. Now, I'm fairly certain if I drop this, it might end up falling backwards. So, I kind of want to prevent that. Actually, I don't want it on the ground just yet. I actually don't want it on the ground right this second. Although now that I think about it, I actually have a lot of, like, I have a ton of uranium on my other saves, so maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to perhaps have a uranium generator on this. Now, the uranium generators, I believe, take up a 3 by 3 something kind of akin to that uh, let's have a look where is the uranium? there it is uranium generator um, can you be up the right way for me? yeah there you go 3 by 3 space Ooh, actually that's worked out quite nicely because what I can now do is potentially make this kind of modular. I wasn't gonna go gonna make this modular just because I wasn't really sure how exactly I wanted to do something like that. Especially since this thing is intended almost entirely to um, be just a drill ship. That is all it is meant to do. Uh, give you a, no, a little rotate. There we go. And then we want to attach you there. Lovely. Now the only thing is I do need to make... That's not actually low enough, is it? I actually need to add a few more blocks to that. Well. It wasn't my initial intention to make this claw so damn big, but um, it's going to need to be. Because those drills, they go quite low. Alright, that should keep it steady at the front. Now, the question is, is how am I going to do something like that back here? Um, maybe we bring... That's going to be too long, isn't it?
Yeah, that's going to be too long. So I need to make my own. Uh, just bring it down a little bit, and then maybe branch it off either side. Go. And then same thing this side. Yeah, very nice little Y shape. There we go. Right, I think you know I'm I'm gonna make a quick save of this. Let's just um save that quickly. And then we're going to drop it off this arm and see how it lands. Okay, so with the suspension, it is a little lopsided on the front, but... It works. And then all I have to do is put one of these, a couple of batteries, and so on and so forth, if I ever want to add more. Basically modular, with this front look, with this front section being the uh, front unit. Right, well then. The question now is... Power for the drills because I do want the drills to be um, solar powered. I don't want them relying on the uranium generator because I want the uranium generator to be more for um, like the fan blades and stuff. Oh, that's a good point actually. Fan blades. I didn't even think of that. Uh, where where is our centre of gravity here? Okay, so our centre of mass is there. So uh, if we bring it off a little bit like that, right, so where is that place? One block from the back, not on that line, right there. Lovely. Because we want our fan blades to be just above the centre of mass. Yeah, mum. There we go. That's what I wanted. I'm hoping this is all the span that we need for this. Although I do have this funny feeling that it's going to be way too heavy. Um, and yes, you know, I know it's not the prettiest looking thing, but it's a drill ship. It's an industrial vessel, it's not meant to look pretty. It is meant to get the job done. Which, if it does, then... Great success! If it doesn't, well, yeah. We'll come to that right when we get to it. But because it's so centre of mass is so far back, I'm... Probably not gonna need all too much. And pump maybe one extra block. Yeah, we'll maybe we'll go one extra block. Um oh yeah, I also need to sort this thing out, so um yeah. there you go. 
It kind of just, it looks right there, so... The question now... Is if I attach the fan blades as... Oh, actually, you know what, I kind of... Hmm, I don't, I don't just want flat edges on this. So, maybe something like that. Yeah, actually, I've got an idea of what I want to do with that. So, that will be fine. We will get to that in just a second. Oops. Did not mean to do that. And this is why it's called the Scrapyard. Um, come on, fan blades. There we go. So, uh, we'll maybe attach one there, one there for stabilisation and then that will be the back fan which will deal with propulsion and turning the back again two stabilising fan blades seriously get rid of the lights again. There we go, I want those ones. Uh, one right there. And then give it a little turn. There we go. Lovely. And then I hope that I remember to um, cut that out. I um, accidentally hit my Windows key. That is uh, not the smartest thing to do. Right, there we go. Right, so. Um, I'm gonna add two more batteries up there. That will make up the batteries for all other external systems. And then I just need to think about the batteries for the side. Well, for the um, fan blades. So, what do these fan blades take? They take 100 a piece, uh, so it's literally a battery a piece. So I'm going to need four batteries per side. Now again, I am kind. Of, actually, I'm kind of tempted to run these along the underside. So one, two, three, and we'll say four. You know, we'll give it six per side. Yeah, we'll give it a six per side. That way it's got more than enough battery storage for the fans. And then on top of that, I'm actually going to have a secondary switchboard. Which will actually be per side fan control. Which will then link into the main fan control. Which will be that one there. Right, so now I just need to think about solar panels for the um, thing. So, we'll say what? No, oh, jeez, that's, that's not where I wanted that. So, it only takes one per drill. So, if I stick two either side, that should run the drills. And if I then run maybe So 
separate solar panel there, one kind of there. I will explain what these are for in a minute. Just want to get these uh, panels in place. Another one. That's the problem. Okay, so maybe I want you. Up there. And then. We'll stick to me like that. Lovely. Right. So. Time to explain what all of that was about. Um. Obviously, you know, solar panels need to be in sunlight in order to work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have two up the front there, one up the back, for, well, two either side there. I should probably do the... actually, no. One, two, three, yeah. Okay, so I think... Right, so that should be the drills. In theory, that should be the drills all sorted. So all I have to do now is actually plug the two drills in. And I believe they should be good. They got four batteries apiece when they only required maybe two. Yeah, no, it should be fine. I don't see why that wouldn't work. Right, so. Now for probably... the most interesting bit, which is... I'm actually going to turn that off. I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. I'm going to turn that off because... Um, I don't want these fans starting up immediately. That would be kind of bad. Since this thing is probably going to be very, very top heavy. So, it tipping is probably quite likely actually. Right, I'll tell you what, so we'll make that one just general systems. So, battery, light, 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 and light. And then, battery, battery, control panel, solar panel, more solar panel, and more solar panel. That's what the solar panels are for. And then you go to that, you go to that, and you go to that. Right, now to see if this thing even lifts off the ground. So first of all, I want to turn that one off, to turn that one on, to then turn that one on. Then we'll provide it with the rest of the bolt power. Actually, you know what? I've missed one thing up the front. I don't believe I missed this. Um... Yeah, I think we'll go for a little kind of uh, core section. That kind of works. Now, I am fairly certain that's a hole. Even once I've sorted all of the um, rotation and stuff out for these. Hmm. What way do you use? Okay, well, let's go with Syndrome, because I know Syndrome is far more controlled. Okay, so Syndrome goes that way, and then the back goes that way. Right. So that's... 
is how I need to have this one turning. So you full propulsion and then steering that way. And then same thing. And then reverse up this side. theory that should allow it to turn. Yep. Screw it. Let, even though those are mostly there for stabilization, let's add those as extra full propulsion. Otherwise this thing is gonna be slow as hell. This is assuming that it even gets off the ground, which um honestly I'm not very confident about. I am not confident those fa fan blades are going to be able to lift this behemoth. Yeah, no, not, not even slightly. They are far too heavy. No, it is far too heavy for that thing to even remotely lift. Okay, so we need more fan blades. I expected this. I mean, that that is a weighty vehicle right there. So we'll add two more either side, which means it's not going to have as much um, excess battery. But, with any luck, right, so let's get those in, and then same thing this side. Oh, I'm sure those batteries are actually kind of doing anything. Oh, you know what? It's probably because they're not really being powered properly now. Right. Did the addition of those... No. Right, I'm just going to quickly make sure that it's not stuck. Okay, yeah, so it's not stuck or anything, so it is just... It is just that it's too heavy. Hmm. I wonder. Right, so those take up... Those take up a hundred a piece. These ones take up five hundred a piece and weigh quite a bit more. And frankly, they're freaking enormous. So let's go through and just take all of these ones out. And um. Take the cockpit out because we've already dealt with that. There we go. Now, my only concern is that the craft is actually going to be too small for this. That is a genuine possibility that it's going to be far too small for this. Right, so I need to rotate you around until you find the point. Right. Did I stick you in the right place? No, I did not. Or did I? So there's a tiny little lip there 
but there's an even bigger lip that side, yeah. So that one's way too far to back. So maybe about there does the trick. Yay, there we go. Second time lucky. And then we probably want something fairly similar. Um, I mean, I guess we place you there. Is that are you lined up? No, you're not far enough back. So. Uh, I guess you're sitting like that. Yeah, there you go. Lovely. Can't believe it's taken me almost 40 odd minutes to build this. Right. Now, if that doesn't work, then... Frankly, I am kind of screwed. Now, like I said, I don't... want to have these pack it's not gonna matter now that I think about it it's actually not gonna matter because even when I turn them on it's still gonna be uneven so we'll just there we go right now only one of these is gonna have um, steering there we go. Actually, I know what's for it. That's not the right way. There we go. I highly doubt the steering on that is going to work, even remotely. But on the off chance it actually does. So that's the correct way, I then need to rotate that one, and then same for that. So that one stays like that. Right. Now this should work. If it doesn't, it means it is stuck on the ground. Oh, yep, yeah, no, that, that lifts. Now the question is, is... How balanced is it? Um. Actually, that's not too bad. It's got a slight front lean to it, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it having a slight front lean. Right, let's see how fast it is, shall we? Oh, good lord, it's slow. Oh, lord, it is slow. And it turns just as slowly. It's perfect. I know I didn't want to say... I, didn't, I said I didn't want it to turn slowly. But you know what? I'm, I'm fine with this. I am legitimately fine with this craft the way it is. It has worked wonderfully the first time. I honestly expected for this to be a mishmash of me just cutting up God knows how many different clips because of it not working. And you know what? What kind of draw are we putting on that? Okay, so a 40% draw. Okay, so it is going to munch through uranium pretty fast. But that's the beauty of this. Once it's landed somewhere, it's going to take it a while to drill out. So, and then, then, it's literally, I don't have to worry about it. It just goes and works. And does exactly what it's meant to do. Perfect. It's wonderful. So, I'm going to go ahead and now save this. That will be going into our uh, survival world at some point. Expect it to grow. 
honestly expect for me to add another one of these sections, just the drills and the storage and stuff, to this vessel because it's probably going to have one, maybe two more attached to it, just so it can drill and hold an absolute ass ton of stuff. Which would be perfect. It'll do exactly what I want it to. But alas, that does it for this video. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. Stay awesome, as always. And I will see you lot in the next video.